What's up geeks and welcome back to iGeeks Blog. This is me Sameer and in today's video, I'm going to tell you how you can improve your iPhone's battery life after iOS 17.4 update. I know most of us are facing poor battery life on their iPhones, but here are some tips and tricks using which you can improve the battery life. So without wasting your time, let's start today's video. The first and foremost thing which you can do after updating your iPhone to the latest iOS version is go to App Store, tap on your Apple ID icon and from here you can update all the apps. Sometimes older version of apps might cause battery drain on the latest version of iOS. So my recommendation is that you update each and every app after you have updated your iPhone. Next thing which you can do is reduce haptic feedback. Haptic feedbacks Especially custom vibration can drain a lot of battery on your iPhone and my suggestion would be that you should turn it off. To do that, you need to open the settings app and from here, you need to go into the sound and haptics. Haptics, you can select never play or play in silent mode. I would recommend that you don't choose always play as it will always vibrate when you receive a notification or a call draining a lot of battery. So you can also disable keyboard feedback as this setting also drains a hell lot of a battery if you are on an older generation of iPhone. And one more thing you can do in terms of turning off haptics and feedback is going into the calendar alerts, reminder alerts or default alerts and from here go into the haptics and select default if you have created a new vibration, new custom vibration, my suggestion would be that you select default option present over here as this will drain the least amount of battery. And lastly, you can also turn off system haptics. I won't recommend this setting to be off as it will ruin your iOS experience. But if you want to extract the final amount of juice from the battery of your iPhone, then I suggest you can also turn system haptics off. Moving forward, next setting which we need to take care of is analytics and improvement. First, you need to go into the settings app, scroll down, privacy and security, again scroll down, analytics and improvement and I would suggest that you toggle off each and every setting present over here. Doing this will save a hell lot of battery on your iPhone as all the background processes which were collecting your data will be stopped. iOS 17 came with a new feature called screen distance which is quite a helpful feature if you use it on daily basis but if you're like me who don't use it I would recommend that you turn that feature off as it requires some amount of sensors on your iPhone to calculate the distance between your phone and your face, your eyes basically, and then prompt an alert on your screen so that you make sufficient distance between your eyes and the display of your iPhone. To turn screen distance off, you need to go into the settings app. Now, go into the screen time and over here, you will get the option of screen distance Tap on it and toggle it off. Next thing which you can do is disable alerts and automations on your iPhone. If you don't use shortcuts or any kind of automations, my recommendation is that you turn this feature off as GPS is the biggest culprit for the battery drain on your iPhone. And to turn this feature off, you need to go into the settings. Now scroll down and go into privacy and security, location services, Again, scroll down till the bottom and select system services and from here, turn off alerts and shortcut automation. The one fancy feature in iPhone is double tap and many of us have enabled it but don't use it on daily basis. My recommendation is that you can turn that feature off if you don't use it as it requires some sensors to work in background and will drain a bit amount of battery as well. To disable back tap, you need to go into the settings app. From here, scroll down and go into the accessibility, select touch, go into the back tap option and from here, double tap and select to none. And make sure you have also selected triple tap to none. And my next tip wouldn't be very useful for people who are using iPhone older than iPhone 10 or even iPhone 11. This particular tip is for all the people using iPhone with OLED screen. And the tip is that you should turn on dark mode. Why you ask me? OLED iPhones have pixels that turn off completely in dark mode, which saves 
a hell lot of battery life. Enable dark mode is the best thing you can do to your iPhone if you have OLED screen. So many of us suffer from Hey Siri problem. I'm not gonna speak it loud because it might get trigger some of your Siri. Uh, as you can see, mine's got triggered right now. So I'm not gonna speak it out loud, but you can turn this feature off as this will save a hell amount of battery because Hey Siri function requires 24 seven usage of your mic so let's see how you can turn it off so first thing which you need to do is of course go into the settings app and scroll down go into siri and search and toggle off listen to hey i'm not gonna say that again okay so yeah now i can say hey siri freely and it won't be activated and moving forward my suggestion would be that you uninstall all unused apps from your iPhone as these apps also might be running in the background draining some of your battery using some of your data using some of your RAM basically please delete all those unused apps which you don't require on your iPhone and see the magic happens to your iPhone's battery and the last tip is not a tip but an advice a wisdom is advice that I would like to give you and that is do not close apps from the app switcher so my recommendation is that do not kill any apps from the app switcher ios is smart enough that it can manage the ram the storage basically the resources according to itself you don't need to anything as this will make things worse so these were the tips and tricks using which you can improve your iPhone's battery life and you can also exceed your usage on it. And if I've helped you, then I think I have earned a like on this video. Then make sure you press the like button as well as subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon so that you don't miss out on any amazing content like this. But, but, but. Before moving forward, there is one thing which you need to do and that is go to App Store, download IGB app and enjoy everything Apple content and some amazing wallpapers. And on this note, this is me Samir signing off and I will see you in the next one. Till then, tada, see ya, bye bye.